Welcome to Race Face TV in this edition of Race Face Driver Updates. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. This week we're going to start on the East Coast where we find a couple of our drivers taking to the road course for their very first time. Ryan Vargas and Anthony Alfredo took to the two and a quarter mile 12 turn road course at New Jersey Motorsports Park in the NASCAR k and Pro Series East event on Saturday. Ryan qualified eighth and was able to stay in the top 10 all race and finished in sixth place. Not bad for your first road course race. Now Anthony Alfredo had a different path to his top five finish and it started during qualifying when the number 40 Seco Building Systems Toyota had an engine let go and he had to start at the tail end of the field. But Anthony was patient, used a lucky dog pass to get back on the lead lap and a late caution gave him the opportunity to catch up with the leaders and was able to bring home a fifth place finish. Up next for the k &N Series is Thompson Speedway's Motorsports Park on July 14th. Anthony will make his first start in the ARCA Racing Series this weekend at Gateway International Motorsports Park on Friday. You can watch that race live on Fox Sports 2 at 8 p.m. Central Time. Driver Jesse Love was at the new Stockton 99 Speedway for the Tom Manning Memorial in his BCRA midget where he set fast time in qualifying but had to start fourth with the invert. Jesse took the lead on lap seven and led till lap 20 when Chad Nicholas took the lead and Jesse brought home another podium finish coming in second place. Up next for Jesse, 5150 Energy Drink Junior Late Models at Madera Speedway on June 30. Now staying at Stockton 99 Speedway, we also find driver Adam Lemke in his USAC Western Midget trying to extend his perfect season in the number 98 off-axis midget. Adam qualified second, then won his heat race on the last lap pass. Now time for the A main. Could he do it again? Well, the answer is yes, as he passed Cody Jessup on the last lap to take the win in a photo finish for his fifth win and as many races. Adam remains on top as the point leader in the championship battle. I saw a post from his crew chief, Randy Chastain, that said, this was Adam's most impressive drive to date. Up next for Adam, RPM Pro Late Models at Madera Speedway on June 30. Let's now take a trip to Madison International Speedway where we find Sheldon Creed in his number 28 United Rentals Toyota in round nine of the ARCA Racing Series. Sheldon entered the race with a 60 point lead over teammate Zane Smith. This weekend did not start off as well as they had hoped with Sheldon qualifying 12th. His MDM Motorsports team made several adjustments to the car before and during the race and brought home a third place finish. His eighth top four finish of the year and maintains a 55 point lead in the championship headed to Gateway Motorsports Park this Friday. It looks like the ARCA championship may come down to a two horse race between teammates Sheldon Creed and Zane Smith, but there are 10 races left. Let's now take a quick look at the race face next drivers. Bryce Bizanson was at Deming Speedway in his 600 micro sprint where he had some engine issues most of the night but managed a fifth place finish in his heat race and that qualified him for the B main where he finished second. In the A main things were going good till he was taken out by another car sending Bryce on his lid and ending his night. Up next for Bryce, the Clay Cup Nationals at Deming Speedway for three nights of racing starting on June 19th through the 21st. Next driver Joe Valento was in Tulsa, Oklahoma at Port City Raceway where you will find some of the nation's top micro sprint racers. Joe and his family makes this long trip from Minnesota so he can compete against the best and gain valuable experience. Joe finished seventh in his heat race, third in the B main, and brought home a 14th place finish in the A main, even though the car was having a fuel pickup issue. What I like about this young 13 year old racer is he always has a positive attitude, even on a bad night. He looks for the positives and starts to focus on the next race. That's something that you can't teach and that will pay to his favor 
as he moves up the ladder over the next few years. Up next for Joe, back to Port City Raceway for the Sooner 600 week finale on June 23rd. The Red Army was almost taking a week off as they prepare for the mini Indy Regionals on June 30th. But as I said, almost, as both Colby and Justin competed at their home track in Pueblo, Colorado, just for fun. In the 160 class where they combined both heavy and light cars together, Colby finished third and Justice came home second. Well, that's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. And as always, we encourage you to go out and support local racing in your community. And we'll see you back here next week. <music>